Welcome to Didi Dice Crafty Corner. My name is Diane and I'm so happy you stopped by today. Hi guys, today I thought we would play with an old stamp and set. And I have always been asked, um, actually I get asked quite a bit when I do my D stashes and I do have one coming up by the way, so I'll keep you posted on that. Um, people are always interested in what I have kept all these years. And this is a good example of something I've kept all these years. So I I saw it and I thought, you know, I always had an idea. I've made lots of these flowers and I might make some of those today, but I always had an idea to do this wreath right here with another one uh, with this, with the hay in the middle and using this as a decoration around it. So I thought maybe we would do that today and I would show you my thoughts on that. And um, I also thought, you know, I have all the Catherine Puller inks. That's the Catherine Puller, the Distress Oxides, and the Distress inks are the inks that I, I like the best. That's what I use. But I have always had all of these. I have a couple of containers of these um, dew drops because, you know, when we got started, this is what we used was the dew drops, right? So I thought I would make a couple of um a couple of cards or start a couple of projects just using the dew drops and just using the stamp set. So that's where we're going to start. I pulled a couple I thought. I believe these are paper tray inks. I have a few of those um as well. I love to do ink. I love I love doing these. I really do. So, uh, but I decided on this one. This one is Simon Says Stamp. It is the favorite flowers, and I got it, gosh, I think it's been years. They do still have it, so I will link it below. I'm, I don't, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. I don't do that stuff anymore. Um, but I will link it below if you're interested, because it's a cute little set, and I have had a lot of fun with it, and, and I'm going to use it now. We're going to try it again. So I thought we would get busy. We're going to use a Misty. I'm going to use my regular Recollections cardstock for this, since it's stamping. 110 pound recollections or 100 pound recollections and we're going to use the dew drops so let me get everything taken apart and we're going to get started okay so let's get started um also i do have my beautiful grandchildren here if you remember i do have um, small children that i take care of um they are the absolute loves of my life and so they we may hear them you may actually hear them and i apologize for that but if i am going to come back to youtube um, i am going to have to have some interruptions and that's just the way it's going to be guys so i picked them out we're going to use like i said we're going to use this tiny little wreath we're going to use this tiny little polka dot thing right I have an idea for that and we're going to use the word hay now my family members all live in the south so hay is a thing that'll work out great for having a little hi how are you doing card that i'm planning on sending to my sister so let's just get started so this i've used quite a bit um although i can't honestly tell you i remember what card but i do remember that it has like this so i know i'm going to want this to go like this so we're going to put it in the middle because I may cut this panel down. I normally do. So we're just going to kind of eye it up and put it in the middle like that. And then we're going to make sure our word actually will fit in there. It will. All right. And let's get started. I am using my mini Misty. My mini Misty. <laughs> my mini Misty. Yeah, that's what it is. And I've decided to use only maybe these three, maybe just two. I'm not sure yet. I think this is going to be a little too light for what I want. So maybe just these two colors is what we're going to use. It's going to be a simple, but I bet you it's going to be elegant and pretty. And then we'll pair it up on a card and see how we can get it to look. So I'm going to try to do all my stamping here. I'm going to make sure I'm in frame. And I'm making a mess already. Act like I never stamped before. I think I will stamp this twice. I am using my little handmade. Oh, that is so delicate forgot how delicate this was so yeah I am going to do it one more time it's very pretty though this is going to be a very clean and simple card but it's going to be beautiful could have gone with a darker color green even or that would also look very pretty in gold but I really wanted to keep this green and you know that's that's fine that looks wonderful we don't have to go any further all right, so I'm going to use my chamois. Now, these are just car chamois. I will link that below from Amazon. I buy them and cut them 
up into little pieces and use them until I can't use them anymore and I get a new piece. It's much cheaper. It works great. I keep it in a little cup that I keep a little tea lid. Where's the lid? I keep a little, you know, this little tea, this is for tea. I have these for my, when I make hot tea, the back, the string sits here and goes there. It's made of silicone and um, it has this little slit in it. So my thing stays moist in there, but it doesn't get stinky. And I just have it in a regular big cup. All right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the outside one next and then we'll put our hay in the middle. So I've decided I'm gonna use this color. Oh, by the way, this color was bamboo leaves. This one is Rosebud, and like I said, I had thought about doing the angel pink for what the step I'm gonna do next, but I think I'm gonna keep the two colors the same. So my idea is, see how we've got this little circle here? I think I'm just gonna butt it up next to the leaves in one area, and then follow that same path all the way around. All right, so we're gonna close our lid, and we're just gonna ink it up. Oh, that's bright, okay. Well, I want it to be bright because it's so simple. We want to have some bright colors on there, right? And we're going to go around and we're going to do this all the way around. Not even going to bother to wipe it off. And I'm just going to go all the way around, laying it down picking it up and re-inking it. Now I might have could have got a little closer to the leaves, but it's gonna be okay. My idea was to make this look like maybe little lace pattern or petals going around, just for an extra add, did I do that twice? For a little accent, right? Good. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use that same curve, making sure we're not overlapping. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up and it's okay. It's okay that we already have some ink down there. It's, it's perfectly fine. I'm gonna go ahead and do each one twice. I just think it's gonna give us a little brighter look. Um, this one's gonna line up perfectly actually which is, you know, that's always nice when that happens. But if it didn't, you would just not ink the whole thing. You would just ink half of it, like if it didn't line up, but this one is gonna line up perfectly. See? How cute is that? And easy, right? Cute and easy, I love that. I'm happy I went with that darker pink. Go ahead and clean that up too while we're here. Oh, I'm gonna use the same color for the hay. So I'm gonna put the hay right in the middle. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna do, we're gonna see. I'm gonna do it in that same color pink. And then I'm gonna do it again in Ver Versamark and clear because I think I would like it to be shiny. So that's the plan. It would have been cool to make these shiny too, but that's okay. That's just would have been a little extra, right? because I don't think that you can actually use Memento doesn't stay wet enough. Yeah, definitely going to have to go with that twice, but I do like that. Pretty. And then once we tie it all in to the card, card base, I think it's going to be lovely. I'm even going to do it one more time. Okay, and then I'm going to clean this off, making sure not to move that stamp. Not at all. And then we're going to use our Versamark. And I think I will Versa mark it twice as well. Just so that we can get a lot on there. Since it's such a plain and simple card, I think having a little bit of shiny right there in the middle 
is going to be sweet. So that's what we're going to do. All right. But I did not, however, clean my card. So we're going to have to do a little wiping away for the clear, for sure. All right. I'm just going to go right here. Oh, it's going to be fine. Good. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Okay. Let's get our heat gun. Nice, nice. Perfect. All right, see, that just gives us a little bit of shine, a little more dimension, and it just looks super cute. We'll put a little sentiment on the inside of the card. All right, I'm gonna go gather some supplies and we're gonna trim this down. And then we're going to do a backer on it a little bit as well. So let's put this card together. Okay. So I am going to be using a white top folding A2 size card. So it's going to be top folding the long way. I'm going to be using a pink of a piece of hot pink card stock and of course my card panel. And I pulled my old fateful. Again, you guys always ask, what do I keep? Well, this is another one tried and true. I've had it for years. I love it. One of my favorite pieces. It's a mama elephant basic set. Um, and it is still available. It's always been a popular one. You can use it, um, you can get it with just the frames or just this piece or just the bow or buy it all together in a set. So we're gonna be using that. I'm going to be using the little heart thing. I wanna cut out one heart. I'm gonna cut out a bow and then I'm gonna cut out my frames. So we're gonna be cutting out the white panel with this stitched frame like this. I'm going to be using my Impress, uh, Anna Griffin Impress, and I'm going to cut this out so that it just goes around what, what we did right there. All right, now do I want to pop this up? Here's the question. Since this is a plain and simple card, we want to make sure it has a wow benefit. So I'm going to use my tape runner for this. Sometimes I use glue. Um, Sometimes I use foam. Actually, I use foam, foam more than I use glue. Maybe we'll do foam. Um, I've got, still have some of the 3M tape, but I really don't use the 3M tape, in, 3M um, double-sided tape anymore. Um, I basically just use that for shaker cards or whatever, or you know, to cut for to pop up small things. But I really just use my foam anymore for the um, for anything that I want to give dimension to on the card. Now, I don't know that I really need to mention for this card because I am trying to keep it simple. And again with this, when I'm doing this, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm just looking for it to look good to my eye. And that looks fine. Now, if I were going to do foam, then I would take, I keep a little stack of all my foams right here. I have it pre-cut, I buy it by the big one. And I would just size it to this piece by cutting off part of it, right? And then I'm gonna pop it on there. Like that. We're gonna go down a little bit. Perfect. And I'm, that's also gonna give us a little more stability where that, um, where we use the heater on it. We're back. Hold on. I had to go check out this the Jurassic situation in the bedroom. He set up a whole Jurassic World and he wanted me to see it. That would be Christian, aka Pukachu. So that looks good, right? So that's what we're gonna do. Now you can see I have a little bit of tiny ink here that I'm gonna be cleaning up later with an eraser. We're not even gonna worry about that. It's not even worth the worry. I'm gonna go ahead and add um, the same thing, tape runner, just to this. I could add it here as well. Let's do that, because sometimes putting it on tape runner, it doesn't like to stick. You just got to remember you're not going down too far. So I normally just keep it right in the middle, 
And I always do this little X. I might go down a little bit further like that. And then make sure your card is going the right direction because you know that tape is a little sticky. I went too far right there, so let's roll it up. And right here, let's roll that back. See how easy that is? You just roll it back out of your way. It's not a big deal. No stress, right? That's what this crafting is all about. It should be no stress. And again, I'm gonna make this look good to my eye, and then I'm just gonna go for it, and you get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. How cute is that, right? So cute. All right, I thought maybe we would put, see how this little crisscross goes right here? I thought maybe we would put a little bow right there, maybe, or we might put a heart right there. So let's make the bow. All right, so do we want that or do we want... Okay, we're just gonna do a couple of hearts. That is gonna be so cute. That is gonna be adorbs. We might need a few more hearts. All right, so final answer, we're gonna do the hearts. So I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of glue right there and I'm gonna pick up my heart and I'm gonna plop it down just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing up here where there isn't anything. And I'm gonna pick up another heart. I want it to be flipped over. We're gonna turn it around. We're gonna do that. Very pretty. And then we're gonna do one, two, So now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'm okay with that. This dude isn't sitting down, but really I would like him to go. Down flat like that. Perfect. And we'll put this one up a little bit because that will even out that space. All right, all right, I like it. I like it. I want him to go a little more straight like that. Okay, what do you think? And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some glossy accents or something like that. I'm gonna use this scrap piece of paper to see, okay. We're gonna go ahead and add some glitter to this too. And that's also gonna darken those hearts up a little bit. And I'm here for that. Right, pretty, yes. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and use our glossy accents to give those hearts a little bit of shine. So when I'm working with something this small, you guys know I don't have good eyesight, I go with the general shape of what I'm doing and I get it down and then I come back in with a pen, a P-I-N. I know I say that like a regular ink pen, but um, that's that army brat diction. Never got over it. Um, I come back in and then I put my glasses on really good and I get really close and then I just spread it to wherever it's not and it works out perfect every time because I can't see you know it's too little that one I did great that one looks good has a little tiny bubble right there that we're gonna take out perfect and then this one we're gonna spread out And this one we're gonna spread out a little bit more. Now we've got some glitter and some shine and some dimension and it's absolutely pretty. So what do you think? Really pretty, huh? And guess what? I pulled out a stamp set I've had for so many years and I used it again. So, and I love it still. We're gonna be making some flowers in the next video I'm gonna be making some of these um, really you know kind of any which way type of flowers and we're going to try to put that together on the front of a card as well so that'll be the next video 
So we've used our inks that we haven't used in forever and we've used a stamp set that we haven't touched in years and we've made a super cute clean and simple card that anyone would be happy to get especially if you're from the south so sis it'll be on its way to you all right guys i love you i will be back in just two days time and we will be making another card and um this weekend which is probably two days time. I'm gonna to get together for Sunday. I've got a, a D stash that I'm gonna be putting up either here on YouTube or on my Facebook page. I'm not sure which one yet, but I have been going through things this week and reorganizing, which is, you know, it's something I enjoy doing. Answer in the below part down there. Answer me, at, let me know. Do you enjoy doing, re redoing your craft room? You know, just going through things and touching and feeling the things that you have kept and I do want to start this series where I'm showing you the things that I have kept over the years because I have de-stashed so much if I don't use it or don't if I don't use it if it doesn't spark joy I get rid of it I pass it on to someone who will love it and use it and pass it on to someone else who will love it and use it you know because that's the way it should be but I'm just wondering do you guys get do you guys have as much fun um, just going through your stuff and reorganizing it and clearing it out and thinking of new things. I might add that little heart to the inside of the card. That would be super cute too. Anyway, let me know. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.